Hey everybody, welcome to another week here at the Tolerin. This is going to be a pretty short video this week as I am getting ready to go to Brazil um, in six days and I obviously have to do some prep work and then also Julie is at a uh, women's conference, um, a little women's retreat and so therefore I have the kids. Um, I have a babysitter here for the next few hours but um, otherwise I have to watch the kids this weekend so it's uh, going to be a shorter video but our goal is to get the French train all finished. I want to do two or three loads of um, gravel and fill everything in as much as we can. Um, there will obviously be some section at the end that I will not have finished because um, we still have to dig the rest of the yard up where the rest of the pipe is gonna go but for right now I'm just gonna let it end um, where the pipe ended last week but we want to obviously fill all that up with gravel. So we got the pipe all filled in, now we need to put another landscaping fabric over it and then put more gravel on top just to finish it off. So we filled everything here with um, at least a foot, maybe a foot and a half, maybe even two feet in some areas with gravel here in case there's dirt that falls down, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, we have plenty of gravel on it. When I finish the French drain all the way at the end, um, I still need to do one more pipe, plus I need to go vertically down um, so that I can put the trench in the yard, but I'm going to finish that later. So therefore when I do that, I'll have more gravel come and whatever we have left over I'm just always going to put right on top of this pile here um, since it's just more protection for the pipe in the long run. Then also I have attached a pipe that is vertically up here. I have a piece that goes on the top to just close it but this allows me in the future if I ever needed to extend it or if I need to clean it out I can just put a snake in here um, and snake the entire area and clean out the, the pipe. Um, so we'll just keep doing that way. So everywhere here, we just filled it all the way up to the top of the brim and then we just went out um, in about the same level out to the outside of the building. And then of course we're a little higher here on the right side you can see in the door, but whenever we put the cobblestone down, we want to be right at that level. So I've left the French drain area right below that level to keep it easy for us um, for usage in the future. So as I already mentioned, we stopped right here with the gravel because the pipe um, it's just another foot right here on um, the length and so I could obviously extend the pipe right now but since at the end of the house right over here we still have to dig probably another four feet down three four feet down so that we can put a hole 
um, end piece and we can put the trench all the way in the backyard here too so because of that and the wall is going to go over it so i have to still uh, do the vertical digging and then the trench but we'll do that with machines when i come back from the brazil trip so for right now we just leave the pipe ending right here which is already much better of course because we're already here below the floor level so in this case the water will just run and just run down this trench for the rest of the way but they didn't have enough um, of the other uh, fabric that is actually made for french drains so i had to use some landscaping fa uh, fabric for the last um, few feet to cover it up before we obviously put the final gravel on it so basically how it all worked is we had land we had um, drainage fabric all the way around the whole trench then we put an inch of gravel in we put the pipe on top and then we filled everything with about two three feet uh, two three inches of gravel around the pipe and then um, on top of that we put some landscaping fabric um, or more obviously French drain fabric and then we put another minimum of three four inches of um, gravel right on top of it so that the water obviously um, can just run into it plus the pipe is protected we obviously don't want to crush the pipe so therefore having that gravel on it will distribute the weight um, if there's um, somebody walking over it it's just going to distribute it nicely and evenly so therefore um, that gravel um, just does that support if you're wondering why we stopped about four or five inches above the uh, or the gravel below the line where the door is or where we put the um, water barrier is the reason for that is we put it at this level so that when we put cobblestone and or any other road base on top of it since this is obviously going to be a driveway we have um, some extra uh, thickness here for just the material plus the cobblestone itself so therefore we left about four inches five inches of um, headway and we don't have to dig it all out again uh, when we do that well i think this is it for this week i hope everybody enjoyed it um, i will be out for the next two and a half weeks in brazil so therefore i won't have any um, normal updates at least for two weeks um, in the third weeks we will see um, kind of when i come back and how much time we have that weekend um, plus it's also thanksgiving that week so therefore i'm not 100 sure yet if maybe the next three weeks uh, we'll just have a skip but i will try to do maybe a couple uploads of like shorts while we were in while we are in brazil and while we're doing some of the build there i'm trying to film uh, most of the stuff there so i hope i can put a tiny little video out um, each one of those weeks and then obviously full updates when we come back.